Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Vivian. Good morning, Miss Nancy. Oh, what a day, what a day. It's a good day today. It is a good day. Amen. Always Amen. a good day. Always a good God created the day. Mm -hmm. And we're alive. And we're alive and we're walking and talking and we're breathing. He put the breath of life in us. Amen. Amen. So God is good today. Yes, amen to that. We're reading from Psalm 114. I'm reading out of the Message Bible. It's modern day English. Easy to understand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read and then I'm going to give some comments. And I know Vivian's got some comments too. So you you will you'll get the best of both of, of both here. Okay, let's start. Verse one. After Israel left Egypt, the clan of Jacob left those barbarians behind. Judah became holy land for him, Israel the place of holy rule. Sea took one look and ran the other way. And River Jordan turned around and ran off. The mountains turned playful and skipped like rams. The hills frolicked like spring lambs. What's wrong with you, sea, that you ran away? And you, River Jordan, that you turned and ran off? And mountains, why did you skip like rams? Hmm. And you hills frolic like spring lambs. Tremble, earth, you're in the Lord's presence. In the presence of Jacob's God, he turned the rock into a pool of cool water, turned flint into fresh spring water. Mm -mm. This talks about the sea, talks about the river, talks about the mountains, talks about the hills. And uh, I, uh, when I studied this, as I see those things as barriers, when you're trying to get from one place to another, you may confront a mountain. You may confront a hill. You may confront the sea, just like the Israelites. It's like, uh-oh, we got the, all this in front of us. How do we cross it, right? The you, sea in front yes, and the enemies in and the, the back. the enemy behind. You got no choice but to trust mm -hmm. God there. That's right. <clears throat> so, you know, these things, they're called, we can have barriers in our lives. You know, we have a, a vision that's on the other side of the mountain, and it's like, okay, what do we do to get to that vision? We can have, uh, you know, situations with, uh, with finances that we have, a, there's a barrier in our way. There's things that we can't, limited resources, uh, our job laid us off, different things come up that keep us from accomplishing our, our purpose and our vision. But, you know, what happened here? God removed the sea. He opened up the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I believe that when we are uh, laying, our, laying our, our vision, laying our plans before God, in Proverbs 3, it says, Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways, and he will direct your path. So when we're walking in his word, and we believing his word, and we're standing on his word, then we lay our plans before God. It's not that this is my plan, God, I want you to agree with me. No, it's I'm laying this before you, please direct me. And he will direct you and he will remove some things. Boy, I tell you, I had debt. I had thousands of dollars in debt. Not my own, you know, uh, doing. It was two people together doing it. And God removed the debt. He canceled $12,000 in debt for me, Vivian. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still give that testimony to today, but I was faithful. I, I, I prayed and I said, Lord, keep me faithful to do your will. No matter what I'm facing here, I will do your will. Mm -hmm. And he removed $12,000 in debt. That was a huge mountain for me as a single mom of three kids trying to get all that debt out of the way. Yes. But he touched the heart of that company, touched the hearts of those companies, and, and the debt was removed. So I don't care what kind of barriers you have facing you, what mountain you've got facing you, what sea you've got facing you that is too big for you to cross or to climb. 
if you stand fast and you lay everything before God and you walk in his word, he will do it. He will remove it. Now, in Matthew 21 and 21, it says, if you have faith, a firm, relying trust, personal trust and confidence in me, or allow yourself to be drawn in two different directions, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, it will be done. And whatever you ask for in prayer, having faith, you got to have faith. Mm -hmm. You can't be double-minded. A double-minded person will not receive what he's asking for because one day he's this way and one day he's that way, full of doubt. And really believing, you will receive. Amen? Amen? So you stand fast. You put on that armor. You know, the enemy is going to come and cause chinks in your, in your, in your mind. He's going to knock on your mind, and he's going to cause some doubt to come in. Don't let it come in. Amen. Don't let it come in. You speak to that doubt. And you say, in the name of Jesus, be gone. I do not doubt. I believe. I have faith like a mustard seed. And what God promised me, he will do for me. If he spoke it, he'll do it. If he said it, he'll bring it to pass. Amen. 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 So don't let those mountains keep you from doing what God says do. Amen. 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 This is a short song, but it shows the power of God. Mm -hmm. How the, the sea, the mountains... Mm -hmm. The rivers have to obey, obey yes. the voice of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. And, and, and this is so powerful. The author is unknown. This is, this is like a poem or a song the mm -hmm. Israelites used to sing to remember what God did, the powerful things Amen. that the Lord did. And that's for us to remind us that that same God, mm -hmm. okay, and we saw it in Jesus. He spoke to the wind. <laughs> And the wing, peace, be still. They had that, to obey. They have to obey. So just think about this. <laughs> that God is the same God that is protecting you. Amen. It's the same God that is watching after you. So Amen. when you walk in obedience, Amen. when you live in faith, when you have a relationship with the Lord, trust that if mm -hmm. he did it for the Israelites, he will do it for you mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. No need to fear. Yes. No need to look at the economy and say, oh, what am I going <clears> to <throat> do? Because mm -hmm. he promised you. Amen. He will feed you, clothe you, and give you drink. He promised, mm -hmm. seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these all things these will things. be added. What things? Your clothes, mm -hmm. your food, housing, your house. Mm -hmm. This is a promise from the Lord. So how can we doubt that if he spoke to the wind, he will not speak to our circumstances Amen. now. So Amen. trust the Lord. See the marvelous mm -hmm. things he did in the past. And our God is not dead. Our God is very much alive, still working, still listening to his children's mm -hmm. prayer. And we have Jesus now. These Israelites didn't have Jesus. They just had yeah, God. Right. We have God and Jesus interceding for us now. And the Holy Spirit. Double, triple blessing. We got all three. <clears throat> so have faith. Don't worry about things. Live your life the way the Lord instructed you to Amen. live your life. And leave the rest to God. Amen. Amen. That is the message. Psalm 114. Read it again. And marvel every time you go outside. Yes. And you look at the trees, you look at the, the, the moon, the stars, and you look, you say, that same God that created oh. all that created me in mm. his image, in his likeness, because that's how much he mm. loves me. He took so much care of everything else, but you, he made you and mm. I into his image. He didn't make the moon into his image. He didn't make the planets into his image. He made you and I into his image. That's so we wonderful. got to be beautiful because, you know, God right. is amazing. But, you know, to, yes, you got to mm -hmm. take time to look up yes. at night. Look at the stars. Look at the moon. Disconnect. When you do that, <clears throat> excuse me, you disconnect from your problems. You di disconnect from your worry. And you connect with God. 
and you revi- you're revived, you're restored. Yes. It's like, man, you can breathe. Yes. Yes. And like the psalmist says, be thankful to God. Give mm-hmm. thanks to God because He is good. Yes, amen. He is good. And when you have that attitude of gratefulness, when you wake up in the morning, thank you, Lord, for another mm-hmm. day. Even if all hell is breaking loose around you. But you say, thank you, Lord, for this mm-hmm. day. Thank you that I have a home. Thank you that I have food. You you find something to thank yes. you for. Guess what? It amplifies. Exactly. It amplifies. More blessings will come to you. Amen. Blessings cannot come out of a complainer's mouth. Mm-mm. But it comes through a mouth that is full of gratitude and is always thanking mm-hmm. the Lord and thinking of Him also. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, oh boy, you have a great, great day today. You be blessed, be empowered to prosper, be at peace, be in health, in health. He desires that you uh, that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Amen. Amen. We leave you with that today. Bye bye. Shalom. Bye.